We're seeing, of course, anti-Semitism just spreading throughout the world, everywhere, in, in worse and worse and worse. Anti-Israel sentiments are becoming more pronounced. Those who are officially our friends are treating us um, with disdain, frankly, this in a disgraceful manner, I would suggest. Um, and the question, we always want to understand the why. Why? How could this be after October 7th? How could the world turn on us to such a degree? Now, whatever reason you, you give for that, one thing I want to make clear, very clear, is do not internalize anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism tells us about the hater. It doesn't tell us about the Jew. We always try to understand, but that's... It's nothing to do with us. Throughout our history, we've tried to change or do things differently because we thought maybe that will stop the anti-Semitism. It never did. It just mutated. Um, famously in Germany, Jews in the late 19th, early 20th century um, became assimilated to a great degree. So the anti-Semitism changed from religion to race. Now, there's nothing you could do about that. The, um, there's a re I would like to read for, for you something from Jonathan Sachs. He says like this, Jews must fight anti-Semitism, but never internalize it. That is easier said than done. If you are hated, it is natural to believe you are hateful, that the defect lies in you. It rarely does. Hate exists in the mind of the hater, not in the person of the hated. Jews have faults, and Judaism is a religion of self-criticism and repentance, but those faults have nothing to do with those of which they are accused of by their enemies. Anti-Semitism tells us about anti-Semites, not Jews. One of the mistakes made by good, honorable, and reflective Jews was to believe that since Jews were hated because they were different, they should try as far as possible not to be different. So some converted, others assimilated, yet others reformulated Judaism to eliminate as far as possible all that made Jews and Judaism distinctive. When these things failed, as they did, not only in 19th century Germany and Austria, but also in 15th century Spain, some internalized this failure. Thus was born the tortured psychology known as Jewish self hatred. When a bully bullies someone, the victim is not at fault. It has nothing to do with the victim. It has to do with the um, self-perception of the bully, his low self-esteem, or whatever. It has nothing to do with the one who's bullied. Anti-Semitism has nothing to do with us. We must unite as a people. We only have each other. It's becoming clear and clear that we have each other and Hashem. That's it. We must remain united and certainly not internalize, not only personally, that it's not my fault, but also that it is not the fault of the government in Israel. No, it is the fault of those who hate us. Nothing to do with us. We cannot internalize this. We must internalize this message that anti-Semitism is not about us. It's about the ones who hate us. Wishing everyone a good Shabbos. This Shabbos is the Shabbos that blesses the month of Nisan, the month of miracles. May indeed we uh, this usher in a, 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 a month of miracles, absolute amazing miracles, miracles where we get the hostages back, where we eliminate evil and Hamas, and uh, ultimately the true and final redemption for the Jewish people. Good Shabbos.